What's up YouTube, Thrift Hunter here with the past two weeks or so of garage sale and estate sale finds. Um, I've had a busy couple of weeks. Uh, I've had good news and bad news and I'll kind of go through what I found and what was going on this past couple of weeks. So I guess uh, first we'll do the good news. The good news is, is that I sold pretty much all of that silver from my last video. All of the big silver pieces are gone. Um, those all sold. I got about uh, $900 probably in sales total uh, for that stuff. It came in a little bit lighter, a little bit less than I wanted. I was hoping for a little bit more, but um, definitely very good sales and, you know, can't wait to do it again. But the bad news is, is that last weekend, like mid garage sale, about nine, nine in the morning or so um, on Saturday, my truck broke down. So I had to take that to the shop and the repairs were pretty expensive so all of that money that I made is pretty much now gone and spent and <laughs> is already done so I didn't really get to enjoy that nice big score uh, very much but we got some more stuff this week and let's go ahead and get started with that. So I picked up a few jewelry pieces. I had a little bit more but I uh, gave some of it away already, um, but this is what I've got left from what I found recently. Um, a little sterling and CZ, nice pendant, uh, CZ gold plated pendant, but it's kind of a nice one. A little scotch tag, but this one is uh, by Stife, Stife Pewter, so not worth a whole lot by itself, but if I get like a set of these, like four of them, you know, I can get 30 bucks or so. Um, a couple of these Christmas tree pins. These are both Eisenberg. They're both signed. So these Eisenberg Christmas trees and the Weiss um, Christmas trees and stuff like that are all really collectible. And you can see they've got much nicer detail than the China ones that you'll see all the time. So. I picked those up uh, $3 for the both of those. And I got this for a dollar. It's a Swarovski great cluster pin. There's a little swan mark. Uh, this brooch, I believe it was $1.50. This one's My Lou, uh, another designer. Pretty nice. For a dollar, this thing, it looks like it's got maybe some real uh, stones there and a pearl but this is like either gold filled or just plated it's like for a hat or for a shirt or something like that and that was kinda cool I picked up um, these three bracelets six dollars um, you open them up let me see if I can get one open this one's got kind of a weird closure. It's kind of hard to open. There we go. So it's marked 925 right here. And that's where you want to look on these bracelets because they're not marked anywhere else. Um, but I can just tell kind of by the color and how they feel and everything. So that's about uh, maybe 25, 30 grams, for six bucks. Picked up these stone necklaces. One of them is malachite and pearl with a plated clasp and a little pink stone. These are a dollar a piece. I got another stone one um, but that's already been given away so uh, I think my grandma took that. I got uh, another sterling candle holder for a dollar. Towel sterling. Uh, this one's got the plastic bottom so a uh, little bit less silver in these ones you know there's only just this top part but for a dollar it doesn't matter right so um, next I got this little clock for four dollars and it's marked Swiss movement in there it's only one jewel movement so it's like nothing nice but a little modernist desk clock brass for four bucks, I mean that's cheap. I bought this. 
Um, it was just a dollar, so I picked it up. It's nothing special, really. I mean, it's just a, like an art project or something. But it is signed on the bottom, and it's dated 1974. Um, I don't know what the name is. This is like D. Merritt or something like that. Um, nothing too impressive, but for a dollar, I mean, who cares? It's so cheap. I picked up uh, this vase. It just looks like a normal vase that had those uh, those fake flowers in it, and it just looks like a Teleflora like gift thing. Um, but it is marked on the bottom. You're not gonna be able to see it, but it's marked Tiffany and Co. So it's like a Tiffany and Co. flower vase for a dollar. It's probably got a scratch or two on it, but you know, I pick up nice stuff when I see it. So I picked up this. Um, big cloisonne vase. It's pretty nice. I mean, nothing wrong with it. Um, it's not, there's like a, someone's name on the bottom and then there's this red tag that uh, I don't, can't read. I mean, it's got Chinese letters on it. Um, but I'll look this up and see if it's anything special. I don't think it is. Um, the little tag says it was from like a furniture store. So I think, uh, you know, it's just a decorator piece. I don't think it's anything uh, old or antique or super expensive, but um, this was only $3, so uh, really nice pickup, and it comes with the stand and everything, so good find. So you're probably all just looking at this thing um, in the background, because uh, this is one of the cooler things that I found uh, this week. It's a barometer thermostat, all carved wood. It's uh, looks like black forest wood, and uh, all the writing here is in German. I don't. Let me see if I can get. I'm gonna get this really close up. Sorry for the blurriness. But you can see it says like you know storm, windy, um, cloudy, rainy, whatever, in German. It says all the different weather uh, types. But look at the movement inside there's like the bellows and uh look at the hand on it the little moon on the back that's pretty cool you can see it's really nicely made um i don't know who the maker is don't know what that says um but let's see if you can see the whole thing so i paid 10 bucks for this it's uh Cracked. The lens is cracked here, but it does have the hands and the screws and the bezel, so um, not not too much of a repair there. But this piece is uh, pretty interesting. There's the uh, thermostat. It says the RC at the top. This is porcelain, and probably probably uh, mercury in there. Um, and then there was this, so the tag right there says $250. Um, I have no idea when that was, but there's also a metal stamp right here. I think it's facing this way. I'm trying very carefully. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But there's a stamp, and also there is some writing that is on the back here. I don't know how well you can see that. There's like someone's name and then there's some numbers right here. So pretty interesting piece. Pretty good condition. Usually these things are uh, always broken. These little pieces break off really easily. So this piece is in uh, it's good shape. It's not broken right there either. Don't know how much it's worth. Gotta look it up. Pretty cool. So here's something I bought uh, about two weeks ago. Um, I was just driving by and I saw this laying underneath some clothes. Just like underneath a clothes rack. This thing was leaning against it and just asked how much and uh, I ended up giving it for $10. 
and uh, it's a Welby eight day clock, wall clock, missing the clock part, obviously, no hands, no movement, um, but still in really good condition. Um, if you look at the, the white, I mean, look at how clean that is. That's crazy, so. Um, I was only able to find one comparable on eBay, which was mint in the box with like the movement with like all everything perfect um, for $250. So just the face, I mean, just as a cool piece of art to hang up, um, still might be worth 75 bucks, hopefully at least. My sales haven't really been too strong lately, but hopefully that'll bring some money. So there's that. I almost forgot. I also got a little bit of sterling. This is a little bowl. And the pitcher. So it's your sugar and your cream, I guess. Um, I'm not sure if it's sugar cream or if it's a salt and something else, whatever. But this one's also matching Wallace Sterling. Or what is it? Gorham Sterling. Sorry. So I got those two pieces um, for a dollar, actually. Um, probably like 60 bucks worth, hopefully, there, at least. So, is that. And the last thing, um, I got this um, two weeks ago. Um, picked up this amp. I just thought it was cool. The guy was like, oh, just make an offer, whatever. So I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, it's tweed, obviously. This is called tweed, um, which means it's like supposed, supposed to be retro, like 60s, 70s. Um, but when you look here, there's the knobs. And there's the model number, the VA20B. Um, it doesn't work also. I mean, it's not plugged in right now, but I plugged it in and it's not turning on. At least, at least the light doesn't come on. Um, it's got a European plug. Looks like that. And it's got an adapter. Um, I tried it. Maybe this adapter doesn't work. I don't know. Um, but it's not working. I looked this up and the only thing I could find was one and it's a South Korean listing for like 90 bucks. Um, and there's had the nameplate, so I don't know if you can tell, but there, there used to be a nameplate here. There's little holes. Um, and the one on their listing says like rocker or something like that. And I opened this up. Let me show you the back. I opened this up. And it's just a little board and a little speaker. It's not an uh, old like tube amp or anything. Um, it's, it just seems basically like a Japanese copy or a Chinese copy or something like that to me um, of a tweed like vintage. Like this might not even be that old. It looks kind of old, but maybe like 80s or something. So for 20 bucks, I don't know, not working. Maybe it's just a fish tank. I don't know. Maybe someone can fix it up. Um, it might be worth 50 bucks or something. So uh, that's all this week. Uh, thanks for watching and like the video and subscribe.